What up, guys? Coach Murph here with episode 10 of the Ask Coach Murph Show. First and foremost, big shout out to my alma mater, Colby College. Uh, they had a huge victory over Trinity College over the weekend, so great way to open up the season. So congrats, guys. Um, good luck this week. But, guys, we are psyched. The season is here. Uh, high school, you know, obviously college has begun, but high school, most high schools are starting up this week. Um, and we're psyched about this. What we're also very excited about, uh, and I am pumped about, is that kids are actually starting to talk about and recognize the fact that in-season training uh, is very important. Um, you know, I'll, I'm going to get serious for a second. No, I'm going to scoot up here, get a little closer to you guys. You know, I want you to realize something, and remember this. Your in-season training is just as important as your off-season training. Should we say it again? We're going we're gonna to say this again. We have to, right? In-season training is just as important as your off-season training. So, you know, what you've done in the off-season to get better for this season, you, need, you now need to maintain that throughout the season. You know, you're going to be great. If you put in the work, you're going to be great at week one. But you need to make sure you're great at, great at week 12 as well. It can't just be, here I am, I'm great, I'm fast, I'm strong, I'm explosive, week one. And then by week four, that's getting, you know, not as good. Week six, week eight, week ten. And by the time playoffs hit, hopefully your team has made the playoffs, you're at your weakest, slowest point. That should not happen. That should not occur. You need to make sure during the season and as the season progresses, you are staying strong, you're staying fast, you're staying flexible and mobile, and you're staying away from injury. So remember that, guys. In-season training is very, very important. Okay, let's get to the show. So protein powder and supplements, always a very big topic. And uh, the quickest answer is know exactly where your protein source is coming from. So I'm guessing, you know, you're, you're getting um, protein powder that is derived from cows. Make sure it's a grass-fed cow. There's no hormones, there's no antibiotics. The best one we have found is made by a company called Stronger, Faster, Healthier, SFH.com. Check them out. We have no affiliation, uh, but they make the best and cleanest stuff, and we highly recommend it. You can use this protein powder uh, right after a practice and a uh, and games. You know, leave, leave it in your locker right afterwards, mix up with some water, drink it down, and you're done. A lot of these muscle milks and, and shakes that are already pre-made for you, it, it's just full of crap. There's a lot of sugar in there. You know, and just do yourself a favor, get your own protein powder that you know where it's coming from, mix it with water, and you're done. It's very easy. And always remember this, it's just like food. If you put crap in, you're going to get crap performance out. So explosiveness and speed is the elusive, you know, topic with strength and conditioning. Uh, everybody thinks there's a quick answer to this. You know, and there's really not. All it comes down to is being smart with your training, knowing what to do, and then consistently doing it and working your ass off. Um, you know, the unfortunate part of this question, obviously every question we get we love, but the unfortunate part of it is the timing of it. This should have been asked at the beginning of, uh, of the off season, um, you know, or the, the winter time or Memorial Day weekend, just any time where you can actually work up to um, you know, working or work up to the season and working on this explosiveness and this speed, you know, and, and of course this question is great. I love it. There's two parts to it. The second part we love and we'll talk about, but this first part here, the working on the explosiveness and speed, you know, we'll talk about all of this Memorial Day. Once Memorial Day weekend hits, the off season has begun. We will talk about this, um, you know, till you guys stop listening to me because I'm talking about it so much, but um, we have a ton of videos on our website. Definitely check those out. They'll talk about some of the movements you can do. Uh, but the second part of your question, maintaining your speed uh, and your explosiveness, you know, while you're in practice, your coach most likely is running you through conditioning drills. Most of them should be sprints. And if they are sprints, just use those to your advantage. Always be in the front of the pack. Work your ass off on those. That, that will help you as the season goes along to maintain your speed and your explosiveness. The other things you got to be doing, one to two days in the gym, Working on maintaining strength, your explosiveness, um, and making sure you're staying flexible for the season, guys. Again, in-season training is so important. It helps you maintain all of this stuff throughout the season. So again, week 12 hits, you're just as good as you were 
week one. So preventing injuries, guys. The best thing you can do to prevent injuries and what we do with all of our athletes is what we call prehab. It's preventative work to help you stay away from injuries as the season hits. you got to know your weaknesses and be able to work on them to then make sure you're staying away from injuries um, as you know the season starts, as the season progresses, and as the season ends. Injuries are not good. Nobody's on a team and nobody plays a sport so they can sit on the sideline. We all want to be on the field and be playing our ass off. That's why we do this, right? We want to be great. We want to compete. So nobody wants to get injured. So if you know you've already had a groin injury or a hamstring injury, this goes for any injury out there, you know, know how to rehab it correctly. Make sure you're back at 100%, but make sure you have a plan going forward. So you know how to cool, uh, warm up correctly, depending on what that injury is. You know how to cool down correctly. And you now know that you have to focus on this every single day of your life. If you're competing in anything, any sport, you need to make sure you're maintaining your flexibility and your strength in that given area. So uh, with a groin, just make sure you're stretching, make sure you're staying strong, uh, but make sure you have a plan going forward. And it's not something that you can just do once a week. It's got to be every single day. So every practice, warm up, cool down correctly. Every game, warm up, cool down correctly. You have to be that guy now that is focused on his health. So, you know, Bottom line, stay healthy, just focus on your body, listen to your body, and give a little bit more time every single day to maintaining your flexibility and the strength that you have there. So great questions, guys. Good luck this week to everybody that's watching. Thank you for sending the questions in. We love getting these questions. Keep sending them, either DM or email us. Uh, but as always, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram, sign up for our in-season program on our website, boostlacrosse.com. But... Work your ass off this week. Good luck in the, in the games, and, uh, and hopefully we come out with some Ws. And the guys that have been on our program see a huge change uh, in the performance on the field. We'll see you guys soon.